So far, four COVID-19 variants of concern have been identified, including the highly transmissible Delta variant. In our weekly COVID-19 Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, one of our viewers wanted to know how these variants are born and whether there's a possibility of a Canadian variant developing despite the mass immunization efforts across the country. So there are actually even more variants than what we described. What we're really looking for is variants of concern. And so the way variants develop is uh, virus are always constantly evolving, changing themselves, mutating. Mm -hmm. And when they mutate to a point where they're different, that's what we call a variant. We're not worried about all variants because some variants then end up uh, quote unquote dying off or not really causing a lot of illness. It's the variants of concern that we're more concerned with. And so these are the ones, the, the four main ones that we've seen, uh, the current Delta variant, where you can see it's of a concern. It's spreading all around the world. It's causing a lot of infection. And those are the variants in particular that when they change, they mutate, they spread more easily, they can cause more illness that we want to keep a close eye on for. It actually has to be a change of the spike protein of the variant for which our vaccine wouldn't be effective. So we are watching that closely around the world. That's called a vaccine escape, just to give you some scientific terminology. And if that were to occur, we are hopeful that we could get uh, that's the situation where a broader booster dose could be required specific to that new variant. The four variants of concern that have been identified around the world, uh, including the Delta variant, our vaccines have good protection. With the Delta, we need two doses to get that good protection. But yes, uh, we, we have uh, protection with the vaccines against the current variant. Right, which means the spike protein is still the same currently. We haven't seen a massive change in, in that yet. It's, it's the same enough. Some people call it sticky. It's sticky right. enough. Yeah. Now, could we get a variant to develop in Canada? Yes, absolutely. It can occur everywhere. I think the more the virus spreads from person to person, every time that happens, every time the virus has a chance to mutate. And that's why actually getting vaccinated it actually helps future variants because by preventing the spread of the virus, you can actually prevent future variants from developing. For more answers about vaccines and variants from this Q&A and to submit your questions for our next one, you can go to our website citynews.ca slash COVID answers. You can also access the page by scanning the QR code on your screen. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.